Which has a really good one. Yeah, get that net. That's a fatty. Look at that one. That one's bigger than the last one. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. We are out on the bass boat today. I'm so excited about it. It's been a while since we've been on the bass boat. Not only that, but we're on the Savannah River today. Not the Yogichi. We're on the Savannah River. You know what that means? We're going for some big bass. And I had to bring a big bass catcher with me today. It has to be my boy A-Dub. Got A-Dub behind the camera. Show yourself, bro. Can you do a little? I'm gonna do a little something like this. <laughs> I know I know he scared y'all with that one. <laughs> so we're out in the Savannah River today. We're gonna be trying to catch some big fish. Man, I haven't been out here in a while, but I think it can really happen. We are hitting the tide, I believe correctly. The river is slightly flooded, which I will say can make the fishing very tough. But I think we're gonna put our heads down today and catch some good fish. And I'm just really pumped about it and just glad to be out here. The weather is beautiful. It's still like kind of hoodie weather, but to be honest, A Dub, like I feel like we could take our hoodie off right now. Oh yeah. Like for it's sure. really not for that sure. cold. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share this video with a friend, and hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel more than you guys know. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into this one, get to our first spot. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm throwing. We'll kind of show you what A Dub's throwing. If you guys want to check out his channel, by the way, link can be down below. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into this one. Let's see if we can catch some giants today. thing started i'm probably before i just start sitting down and tying up i do want to throw a few casts we just talked to a guy uh, a second ago really nice gentleman um he said he had good luck this morning but right now he said it's just been i don't know he said it hasn't been good right now this morning was good but he says biggest one was two pounds he said they're only like 14 inches but they're just fat but maybe we'll get on a big boy we're just gonna have to fish a certain way i haven't been out here in but one time in the last four months, we need to really figure these fish out fairly quick too. We got about four hours of daylight. You know, we're gonna put our heads down, see if we can catch these fish. I'm throwing a big worm right now, June bug. Um, trying to fish some of these deep banks to start off. And I just went all the way back into this creek. This creek right here, the problem is the water's so flooded. So you wanna find like some of these areas to where the water can't go back because like to the left of me right here, it's like a swamp that water goes back so far that those fish can be so far up there that you'll never get to them so i'm really trying to target these banks that have an edge on them to where i can actually cast up on the bank rather than just fish some of the edges and kind of be guessing on where those fish are at so i'm going to start off by throwing this big worm right here this is a 12 inch ribbon tail or 10 inch ribbon tail and i uh, just see if we can get a bite or two i'm going to work this thing really slow and really pay attention to what I'm doing. And then I'm probably gonna put on a spinnerbait here in a bit and start covering water. I think that might be a, a good game plan today. Usually, you know, we're after a cold front too. We're starting to warm up here and it can be really tough. Yesterday's day of fishing was just very brutal. You could tell that they weren't wanting to bite. So, I mean, it's gonna be a little iffy, but I still think we can catch them if we can just figure them out and figure out where these fish are positioned and more importantly, what they're eating. And I think if we put on something like a spinnerbait, that you can trigger this fish to bite and get a reaction. So let's get to work, guys. Let's see if we can get a few in the boat. Really would think there's one around now. Not gonna lie, when I get a bite, I'm gonna be excited. I just feel like he's already gonna be one of those tough to get bites, unless you just figure them out. I really think it's spinnerbait though. All right, y'all. It's about that time that I tie me on a spinnerbait. 
Adam's over there throwing a fluke. I was throwing that Texas rig, which Texas rig and a fluke are going to be a staple in today, but I kind of want to check around a moving bait because these fish could be really finicky, but what I find out about finicky fish is that sometimes it's almost better if you throw something that has a lot of vibration and is a little aggressive because, you know, they could just be sitting down there looking at your bait, but if you roll something by like this, it, it, you know, bat, a bass is a predator, and not only are they a predator, but they're going to react to stuff that puts off vibration and goes by them really quick, so a spinner bait might be the trick. I'm not going to reel it fast though, I'm still going to slow roll it and really like focus on hitting the cover on the bottom, kind of bumping off of everything. We'll see. I think this could be a really good bait today. <laughs> I'm going to have a giant mud fish eat it, and I'm going to think it's a freaking mega. I like this wind coming up on these trees. I think we should spend a ton of time doing this. I am gonna go, I ain't gonna go super quick, but I'm just gonna keep us going. This is a good little spot, dude. One could be slurking. <sighs> Feels so good down there. Do you feel all that? I'm bumming that spinner bait off of all of that. Ah, or hooking it. There you go. Well, this ain't good, buddy. No, it ain't. It has nothing to do with the cold front. I ain't worried about that. It's just the water level, dude. Well, guys, we are on spot number four. Not a bite. This is <laughs> we could take out and go to the Geechee. <laughs> or should we? I'm not gonna lie, Adam. If we spend another 30 minutes and not get a bite, we might need to. Dude, no, it's going to be, I believe it's going to be right. I don't know. I need to double check, but I believe it's going to be right. All right, y'all. We just took out the boat. We're in a little time crunch. We're about to go put it in the other river. And I think we're gonna catch them. We're gonna have about an hour, a little over an hour of fishing, probably just about an hour. But I think we're gonna smoke them. This river's just too flooded. Uh, we had to pull the cards and we just had to say, hey, is it worth us fishing? I think if we're out here for fun fishing, yeah, I would have stayed out here. But the fact that we're trying to film a video and try to catch like 10 plus fish for y'all and videos for both of our channel, we just gotta hop to a different river because I believe we could catch them before the end of the day, but I don't think we're gonna catch over five fish. So let's go ahead and head to the other river. Hit the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. We're about to catch some fish for y'all. Gotta roll to another spot. I don't even know if my stuff's all put up, man. Hopefully we'll catch them now. I thought we were gonna catch them here, but. Thought wrong. All right, y'all, we just got to the ramp at this other river. Ended up stopping at the gas station, had a little chicken sandwich break. And now we out here and we're gonna make it happen. We got about an hour, I'd say a little over an hour to do some fishing and put some fish in the boat. So fingers crossed that we make it happen today. The last few times I did come out here on this river, it wasn't the best, but I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be a lot better than the river we were just on. So we're gonna go ahead and back in here. We got an hour on the clock, Let's see what we can do. River is a little high, dude. I wish it was lower, but what can you do, man? You can't beat the daylight. The last time I came out fluking a spinnerbait was what was getting bit. I couldn't even catch them really good on a worm, but we'll see. I'm surprised we didn't get one right there. I thought one was gonna be sitting there. 
I caught last time I went out, I caught one on spinner bait there. All right, I got a second spot. Let's make it happen. Didn't get any bites in the first spot. I don't know what in the world these fish are doing. I think it's just inconsistent weather. But uh, we're going to try our best. I'll tell you, we're going to lay it all on the line today. What's up? I think I had one. Really? Yeah. That's a good sign. That's a good sign if you got a bite right away because we could land about 30 in the next hour. We'll try it for about five, 10 minutes. If it's not happening, we'll leave. want a reaction but that's a good one dude that's a really good that's a big one dude big and actual no it's a big one adam there ain't mud fishing here at least it shouldn't be yeah oh yeah that's a good bass bro like a three yeah oh he ain't even that big is it oh yeah he's fat oh yeah <laughs> Hey, first cast on a spinnerbait, bro. They want a reaction. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's hey, a good one. he ain't quite three, but he's a high two. You see how stubby he is? These fish are hefty, dude. Let's go, bro. Hey, we might have just figured it out. He's cold, man. There we go, guys. First fish of the video. <laughs> just came out on the geach. We're out on this spot for what, Adam? Three minutes? Probably, something like that. I threw that worm a good bit. No bites. He was throwing a drop shot. You know, he didn't have any bites. I pick up that spinnerbait. First cast. A solid almost three pound geech bass he's stubby but man that's a hefty fish right there fat belly that's what we want right there we're gonna keep the ball rolling they're probably gonna want that reaction bite right now these fish are finicky i think they want something going past their face and hitting off that stuff on the bottom you guys a good one right there it literally was first cast it's a good little sign guys listen hey we had a tough morning we adjusted came out to a different river and right away we got us into a pretty good fish see if we can keep the ball rolling right now oh gosh yeah no that's a bass yeah bro it's a good one yeah it's a big one Oh gosh, that's a really good one. Yeah, get that net. Oh, oh, Adam, Adam, Adam. Yes. <laughs> he was running. That's away. another three pounder, dude. That's a fatty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that one. That one's bigger than the last one. Dude, you see me almost I almost got him <laughs> in the net. It was so close. <laughs> I, I reached out so far. Look at that guys. Look, look how he's barely hooked. See that? Yeah barely hooked these are the big ones are biting at them this time of year i feel like it's when i catch a lot of good fish out here <laughs> we might get on it buddy we need to get you on a jerk bait or a spinner bait yeah you want to tie on the jerk bait i, I have it. a jerk bait box i got there's something else besides what i'm, I'm not throwing. gonna lie i think the jerk bait outperformed the spinner bait like these are good ones too yeah they're you big. know what's so this is what we're doing adam is you you know this already but all the water's flooding out yep so this fish probably wasn't there when i caught that one he probably just rolled up and these fish are good ones bro we might put in a bag real quick yeah you're already on the way all right got two two big boys in there or decent boys ogeechee river those are those are prime fish. big ones all right adam we about to put in work dude spinnerbait jerkbait time I'll, i was honestly about to tie on a jerkbait i was like thinking about it and i was like I caught that one, so I was like, man, I think they just want to move and bait. I never throw a spinnerbait much here. Uh, I don't really. It might start after today. If there was big schools coming through, we would know. I think it's like just a little bit out of time right now, but they're bigger. All right, Adam. I think we should, uh, we're going to go hit this other spot real quick. We'll, we'll come back to this. We don't have much time to do all that. 
It could be worth it, dude. Yeah, the sun is hot. It's 505 right now, but I think we might have till 6 instead of 530. I feel like it's been getting darker a little later. Yeah, it is right there, right there. See where I just cast it? Yeah. Money. We should probably get out of here, dude. This, this water's coming out fast. All right, guys. We did not get a dang bite in the spot, which is odd, but I need to go ahead and head out of this spot. We're going to head back to where we were before just because we could get stuck in this spot. There's a big sandbar. And I don't want to get stuck in here. <laughs> the last thing that we need today. All right, y'all. Cold, windy, daylight. It's about to be bye bye. <laughs> We're gonna try our best here. We just came back to the spot where I'd caught there's two good ones, and it's actually looking really good. So let's we'll see if we're gonna get back on them right here. Hopefully, it's gonna happen instantly. You can catch you a tree fish. Photo yeah, it's fine. You need to before the sun gets below the trees. I got one. You got one? Yeah, a good one too. Really? Yeah. When we get the net, I'm going to break off real quick. Digging though? I'm pretty sure he won't even come up. He's fighting like crazy. Oh, he's not even that good. Oh, Look at that fat dude. <laughs> hey. Dude, I thought he was way bigger than that though. <laughs> First one for me. A little Strike King jerk bait. Kicking their bass rod right uh -oh. only on kickingtheirbass.com. Uh oh. Got my first fish. Thought it was a big one, but it wasn't. It was just this. So. Whatever. Hey, it's still a nice, healthy one, though. I mean, he's chunky. Not bad. Beautiful green colors on him, too. Nice helicopter. <laughs> hey! Look at my fish! <laughs> they just honked their horn at us real quick. Honk, honk! <laughs> Alright, well, eight. Oh, no, you hooked them. Took the tree. You thought you had a megasaurus, <laughs> didn't you? All right, I'll let you make the decision. I know it's my jerk bait, but if you just want to break it off, you can break it off. My, my last good color, just letting you know. That's up to you, dude. <laughs> nah, you can break it off, dude. I don't I mean, care. Just... I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I usually break everything off I hook up here, just because I don't want to ruin it if there's fish there. But well, A Dub just caught his first fish of the day, so we've had. We've had three so far out here. Not the best, but not bad, man. I'm, I'm just, we adjusted. So I'm, I'm just happy that, you know, we've, we've worked through all this. It, the weather has not been the nicest either. It's been really chilly and windy and nasty. So we're making it work. I just would like to hopefully stumble upon some more real quick before it gets dark because the sun's coming down quick. All right, y'all, we just took a quick picture of these fish. I'm gonna release them back. You know, this is a spot that I caught them in. Those are some good Geechee bass, man. Not bad at all. Those are some freaking nice ones. This one's definitely bigger. It's a hefty one. This one's fatter, but there's some nice fish on that spinner bait. We'll get them back in the water real quick. Those are some decent ones. All right, we're not done though. We're gonna throw a few more casts and see if we can hook it into one more. On this bank, there's sometimes a good one. Sometimes, that doesn't happen often. What is that? Oh, it's a beaver. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> Was it a that beaver freaked me all? out. I don't know. That, that low key spooked me, bro. <laughs> I thought it was like a 10 pounder. Like in my head, I was like, cast, dude, like throw at it. But it was just a beaver. I caught like a, I watched them boil on it the first cast. I threw it back in there and that's almost. Yeah. Water is good. It's like a stomp right here. I got one. Uh-uh. What? Boat flip, baby. Let's go. Sucker. Dude, I don't know. I just caught this one there, right there. You ever caught one there? Yeah. I mean, it's not something I could really throw at, though. It's going to be a little chilly, guys. 